We know Rockstar likes to add items into GTA Online through DLCs, ranging from super exotic, expensive luxury sports cars, to clothing items, to new areas to live, to underground bunkers and facilities that we can store our jetpack in. But if you're an average gamer and you don't play GTA Online just a couple times a week or every single day, there are some minor things and major things that were actually removed from the game. So hopefully you guys find the video enjoyable. Today we're going to be going over 10 things removed from GTA Online. If you feel it's worthy of a like and you've been enjoying the series so far, give it a thumbs up. Let's try and break 2,000 likes on this video right here and hopefully... You guys learn something new today, and if you want to check out the rest of the series, you can find it linked down below in the description. But with that said, here we are with 10 things removed from GTA Online. Number 10 is money trucks. Do you guys remember these armored money trucks that would appear around the map at random times, random locations, and this is actually upon reaching level 19. So all you had to do was blow the doors off of this truck, whether it be sticky bombs or rocket launchers, and you could easily gain as much as two to $10,000. It was an easy way to get money when these did appear. Now, with the release of the free mode events update in September 2015, these were actually removed entirely from the Xbox One, PS4, and PC versions of the game. And to my knowledge, these were removed due to exploits. People were finding ways to exploit this system and gain more money than what you were allowed to. So that kind of ruined it for everybody. The bad apple spoiled the bunch here and some bad guys ruin these money truck opportunities for everyone which sucks especially if you're a lower level player just now joining gta online you need some easy money and you can't anymore number nine and while we're on the topic of money trucks and money let's actually talk about the sharing money features so when gta online first released you could send five thousand dollars a day to select a players through the quick menu, inventory, and then give cash. And like I said, it was once a day you could send 5,000 bucks to a friend if he needed it, or just anybody if you were feeling generous. And this was actually removed due to glitches, bugs, and mods that allowed large sums of money to be transferred to players. So if you wanted $1 million and a modder in the lobby had $20 billion, he could actually find a way to send you that much money. It was a very popular exploit and I believe it was actually removed like two or three weeks after GTA Online released. It might have been a little bit longer, but it's been so far back that I almost forgot to include this in this video. Number eight, creating a character. So on the Xbox 360 and PS3 versions of the game, the character creation menu is way different and it's changed drastically uh, with the release of the PS4, Xbox One, and PC versions of GTA 5. So originally when creating your character, you had the ability to choose your grandparents from both your mom and your dad's side. And this actually... Uh, helped determine how your character would look. Obviously, you would inherit traits from each of these different characters. And this is one that I kind of forgot about. So we know that you can't do that anymore. You can only just choose your mom and your dad. But yeah, we were able to choose our grandparents, which which that's insane. So you could also choose your character's lifestyle. This was basically part of the skill point system. Uh, it determined whether you're going to be a sporty, sleepy, partying type character. And it actually affected your, your character's facial features and how he would look. So if you were a druggie or a criminal, you had a very like stern, mean look and your facial features were a little different. So that's very interesting. And if I remember correctly, there was also two locked character slots, meaning that at one point we were possibly able to have not two, but four characters to create in GTA Online. Number seven, your own personal mechanic. So originally when you called your mechanic, he would actually deliver the car to you, opposed to now if you call in a mechanic, your car will just teleport or spawn uh, behind you or whatever direction opposite that you are looking. So when the mechanic would deliver your car, he would have a tendency to crash and damage our rides upon delivery. So you might get your car expecting a nice clean ride and it's missing a bumper or it's just all destroyed. So uh, he would also drive away if there was a fight going on and sometimes he would even just drive right past us, forcing us to kill him. He was actually removed in patch 1.10, which was the 2014 Valentine's Day Massacre update. So uh, RIP and long live the personal mechanic. It's been a long day without you, my friend. 
Number six, ground fireworks. So you're probably thinking, dude, we still have fireworks in the game. Yes, we have the firework gun that's available to us or the firework launcher, but we no longer have ground or cone-shaped fireworks. And both of these were actually introduced to us in the 2014 Independence Day update. And there were actually 12 of these ground fireworks and they were all able to be purchased in the ammunition and they were actually accessible through the inventory menu. And what was cool about them is you could just place them on the ground you set a timer between 0 and 60 seconds, and it made for an awesome fireworks show. Myself and a lot of friends used to line these up on the pier at nighttime, and we would have awesome fireworks shows. So, I'm not sure why Rockstar would not include something this small within the game that the fans seem to love. And actually, the only way to have these in GTA Online right now to this day is if they were grandfathered in, meaning that you kept them since day one, you never ran out of them or you just never used them. And my personal opinion is if you still have some in your inventory, don't use them unless it's just a super special occasion because once you run out, that's it. You will never be able to get these fireworks in GTA Online again. Number five, crate drops. So there were two different variants of the crate drops in GTA Online. There were regular crate drops that would drop helpful items like snacks and ammo. And then there were the special crate drops, the cooler ones. And these dropped rare items like exclusive t-shirts ranging from radio station t-shirts to just a really cool graphic tees. And then there were the beer hats. And these are by far the coolest ones ever dropped. And luckily I grinded real hard back in the day. I got every single exclusive crate drop I item available to us. Uh, the special crate drops could also drop things such as money up to 5,000 RP. The minigun, even if you weren't level 120, you could still get a minigun even though it would disappear if you switched sessions. And the exclusive items cannot be bought in game, which is really interesting, meaning if you missed out on these crate drops back in the day, there is no way that you will ever be able to get these rare and exclusive t-shirts and beer hats again, unless Rockstar decides to add them into the game and make them available to purchase. Number four, the North Yankton glitch. So we know North Yankton plays a vital role in the GTA 5 campaign. And what sucks is that we've got this giant unused map for North Yankton. I say giant map, but a small town. And it would just be such a very cool location to be able to travel to, do some GTA online missions there, have a house there. And just ultimately have a different setting to go to if you are tired of Los Santos, Sandy Shores, and all those areas. So through various glitches, we could actually get to North Yankton. We could roam around. And it was overall very cool. But for unknown reasons, Rockstar 1 doesn't even let us go to North Yankton in a legit manner. And 2, in an unlegit manner, they still don't let us go because they patched every single one of these glitches real quick they would come out you could get there for maybe a day or so and then rockstar fixed it so rockstar if you are listening please add north yankton into gta online i'm speaking on behalf of the gta online community k thanks bye Number three, sex toys. And this is a rather interesting one to talk about. We've got some images of the sex toys found within the game files from Lube to a messed up bed. This one actually kind of looks like Michael's. Uh, we've got a couch and various toys and whips and just, just weird items. I don't like to talk about this stuff because it's just weird. But um, yeah, we got these items found within the game files. And at some point, they were set to appear in GTA Online. Uh, for unknown reasons, or maybe for better reasons, they were removed from the final version of GTA Online. Uh, but also, I want to say there is a raping animation. That's what it's called through the use of mods. We could check this out, and who knows if this was set to be a part of that. But yep, this one actually appears in the game as well. Number two, the High Life Garage. So, the High Life update that released in May 2014 was an awesome update. And aside from the vehicles we got in the DLC, such as the Zentorno, we were actually supposed to get an exclusive garage to put our cars in. And this one is way different than any garage that we have in the game because most of them are the exact same regardless of whether you own an apartment or an actual house. They all look the same. The only exception being the Maze Bank Garage, which is very similar to this one in some aspects. And the High Life Garage is almost in a V shape. It's pretty interesting as the car layout is way different than what most of the garages in GTA Online feature. And maybe this was an early version of the Maze Bank Garage. It was scrapped then and added in uh, later on, and that's what we have now. So who knows? 
And finally, we are to the number one spot. We have the original GTA Online logo. So this one is actually a lot different. It features the same price down font, but the designs are a little bit inside of it. Um, different colors and actually inside the font we have artwork and that is the main and notable difference in this between this logo and the logo we have now so uh, fun fact actually the artwork in auto was never released and we don't actually have this one in GTA 5 so uh, interesting fact there but nonetheless I don't know how I feel about this logo I think there's just like too much in it to kind of grasp and maybe that's why Rockstar didn't feature it uh, as the original logo for GTA Online because if you looked at it from a distance it might look just like a big old blob with all these different colors and whatnot there and it's not just a simple GTA-esque logo. So that's kind of my only reasoning as to why they probably didn't make this the official GTA Online logo but Nonetheless, that actually sums up 10 things removed from GTA Online throughout the years. Hopefully you guys found this video enjoyable and hopefully you want to see me continue the series. Uh, we've got 10 things from Vice City coming up next, so stay tuned for that. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Let's go for over 2,000 likes on this for some more removed content from the GTA series. Subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you guys never miss out on another daily video game upload. And I believe that's all the time we have for today. My name is Zach Cox. Thank you guys for stopping by. Take it easy, and I will catch you all in the next video.